you mentioned UK several times now. Are there other countries, other other areas where uh, the society and where the general population does appreciate that if they have an MSK issue, they they should best and first go see their uh, their physio or their physical therapist? Yeah, so I think UK is the one that I actually looked at the most because of the support from the uh, their their national healthcare organization. And you know, I think I'm um, very much a capitalist very much uh, for, for people, uh, their efforts actually should and they'll be rewarded. But I think sometimes too with socialized medicine, it does actually tend to take cost out just a little bit. And uh, that allows you know, others to hop in and provide some care. You know, Canada, I think is actually does a, it does a pretty good job with access to their, their physical therapist. And I'm, and uh, there are some provinces up there that have actually pure, you know, direct access, and um, you know, they've done very well. So there's a lot of examples out there. I think as you know, and in the paper we'll talk about that here in in just a little bit. But I think you know when you're really wanting to control cost, if you're really really serious about actually doing that, I think that PTs can help just absolutely tremendously. I think one of the biggest issues with actually PTs ordering x-rays is that um, the volume within the radiatic, within the, the imaging department starts to go down. Mm -hmm. Hospitals do not like that because they're making money off of the imaging. So, but it's, so the focus needs to shift, you know, and, and so, so I think there's a balance in there. You know, hospitals obviously have to be profitable so they can that can pay their shareholders and all the things that that uh, that go into making a business, but also I think we need to to do what we can to curb cost. So yeah. hear the entire episode for free on iTunes, Spotify, other favorite podcast players, or go to mechanicalcareforum.com.